today make sure you guys make sure you guys like and comment under this video don't forget to like and comment under this video no doubt it's important so make sure you guys like and comment under this video so today I'll be talking about who is in my top five best small forwards from the 2000s and number five I got no other than my man the sharp shooter the sniper the three-point sniper Pedro Stolakovich, dude was a pure bucket getter, pure three-point shooter with the Sacramento Kings. Dude was phenomenal. He was a great, a great impact to to that uh stack team with C. Webb, uh, Mike Bibby, Divock, Bobby Jackson, so forth. And Pedro was a key, important offensive um part of that team in the 2000s for the Kings. You know. Had a few all-star appearances, made an all-NBA team. I think his best scoring season with the Kings, I think he averaged like 24 per points per game. And that same season, guess who was number one in scoring? Tracy McGrady with 29 points per game. So that's that's how much the game, the defensive you know strategy, strategy back then was a lot different in the 2000s compared to today's, where your top two best scorers, one was – Averaging 29 as number one, then your next top scorer in the league was averaging like 24, 25 points per game. So, um, you know, like I said, man, Pedro, man, dude can can shoot, can shoot the lights out. Uh, had a good mid-range game. Was who was it didn't have a lot of assists, but he was a great passer. When you watch his highlight, he was a great, great passer. Um, you know, and then of course he went to the Hornets. Dude was a bucket for the Hornets, still averaging 17 a game. And then, of course, you know, in the 2010s, he went on winning a championship with the 2011 Mavericks with Jason Kidd and um, Dirk Nowitzki. So, uh, Pedro Sogovich was a sleeper. A lot of people sleep on him outside of his shooting. But you, know, you watch his highlights when you look him up, man, dude was all around offensive uh, player. Uh, like I said, man, he was one of the best three point shooters in the 2000s and especially at their forward position. So he deserves to be number five on my list. And then no other than number four, the Matrix. The guy that shoots the ball like this. No other than Sean Marion. Man, dude, man, I have a dog. To be no other than 6'7", at the most, at the small four position, dude was a great, great, great rebounder. Dude had nine seasons in the 2000s where he was averaging double digit rebound that's 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 insane at the small forward position automatically already one of the best small for uh small forward rebounding <clears throat> one of the best rebounding small forwards of all time i mean nine seasons in the nba in the decade of averaging double digit rebound i think he averaged no more than at best 11 rebounds per game in the 2000s and dude i mean Sean Mary was a key part of the Sun's success. They uh, you know, they honeymoon phase, meaning they the adrenaline uh, phase where it was him, Steve Nash, Amara Stoudemire, uh Joe Johnson at one point, Quentin Richardson, um, Bo uh Barbosa, and then Boris Zio. So Sean Mary was he he wasn't a guy with the pretty jump shot, but dude no still how to get buckets. He was a great slasher, um, uh, one of the best defenders in the two thousands. Uh Every season, was averaging more than two steals and averaging a block per season in the 2000s. Um, dude was incredible for his time, especially in the 2000s with a lot of great uh, guards and big men. But the small forward, forward was kind of limited, but he was like the bright light of the small forward in the 2000s. And I think in the 06 or 07 season, he was just out of his mind. He was, this was probably his best season with the Suns and in the 2000s, in my opinion. So Sean Marion was an all-around guy. He was a glue guy, all-around player. Like I said, slasher, great rebounder. Um, he was a good free throw shooter despite his shooting, uh, his shooting form, orthodox. Um, like I said, that fast-paced offense, 
worked well with him when Nash came along. It worked well with how he played the game. Like I said, um, dude was on around on both ends of the floor. Basically, he was like a two-way slasher that can, that can rebound the ball and still give you like 20 a game. So, Sean Marion deserved to be number four on my list, man. He's definitely highly underrated, no doubt. And then number three, no other than the man himself, Carmelo Anthony with the Nuggets in the 2000s. Uh, man, you know, you already seen this in, in this um. <laughs> and his highlight film, you know, dude was like I said, a pure bucket getter. Uh, dude was one of the bright, bright young guns in the 2000s with him, Wade, and LeBron and Bosch from that 2003 draft. And you know, Carmelo Anthony, despite one major success of playoff success, he still was a bucket getter in the 2000s. Dude was a dude, and, and, and his prime with the Nuggets can really slash at the rim. Uh, still had the mid post uh, game, fadeaway, mid range shot, the mid range pull up. One, one had one of the easiest mid range pull ups you ever seen in your life. Uh, Melo was just that dog in, in Denver, and then like I said, drafted by Denver, coming to Denver, Denver being a rookie, he led that team to an NBA playoff appearance. I think they end up losing against the uh, the Timberwolves. KG, that's when KG won MVP that year. So they end up losing to the to the uh, Timberwolves in four games, but still very impressive to a rookie leading a team to the NBA playoff in in, in years. Cause that was hot doo doo trash years before before Melo came. <laughs> so uh, I said, man, man Melo with him, dog. I mean, he was like I said, he, you know, the same way you, you watch him play with the Knicks, he was the same way with the Nuggets, except the Nuggets he was a little bit more of a lively slash at the rim, a little bit more faster moving, but the jab still, the mid-range pull up, the bullet ball was still there. Um, and like I said, man, Melo was one of the best small forwards in the 2000s. And like I said, man, with the iconic shoe line he had uh, when he was with the Denver Nuggets with the Jordan brand, was incredible. So Carmelo Anthony was a major, major, major part of the bright gems of small forwards in, um, in the 2000s, especially we were already seeing him how he carried himself at a young age of carrying that nuggets team to the playoffs his rookie year and so forth so um Melo deserved to beat him through my list no doubt about it and then number two the truth paul pierce is number two on my list you know the lot i know he says a lot of crazy things these days a lot of you know controversial statements but he watching his prom a lot of people got watched his prom year with the Celtics man dude him and Antoine Walker was at one two punch but uh Paul Pierce man he was a dog you know slow pace but had one of the most slept bunnies sticky buns you ever seen dude really had bunnies he just felt like you know he just wanted to turn it on when he wanted to turn it on <laughs> you know what I'm saying so uh, Paul Perry's man with the uh, with the pure score, uh, pure offensive game with the mid range, the uh, ability to slash at the rim with that slow pace, use his size correctly. Um, another somewhat bully ball, but then he was, you know, a good three point shooter. Uh, Paul Perry was was getting buckets, and it's the reason why Shaq gave him the nickname the Truth. I mean, Paul Perry was him. He was that dog, man, in the Earl. Uh, in the early 2000s, you know, of course, winning the championship, knocking out LeBron and knocking out Kobe, and then end up winning the Finals MVP. So Paul Pierce, man, like I said, man, he he was a dog in the 2000s, and man, watch his highlights, man. He was he was him, no doubt about it, <laughs> for sure. And then number one, no other than King James, LeBron James, you know, arrived arrived with so much hype in the 2000s when he was a rookie, you know, exceeded the expectations. He was pretty much dominant for his age, you know, carrying the Cavaliers uh, to a lot of playoff appearances. Uh, I think at 22, he carried him to the finals, but got split by the Spurs. But, you know, LeBron was, man, he was spectacular in the 2000s. You know, and then the highlight film, the highlight film, the accolades speaks for itself. So, that's my top five best small fours in the 2000s. Comment below who, who y'all got. You like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you got to do. I love you guys. Jay Boogie is out.